session on poetry regulations. I uh, welcome all the dignitaries. Uh, I welcome uh, Sri A K M uh, Samimui uh, Hak Siddiqui, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Shipping, Government of Bangladesh. Thank you for being there, sir. I would also like to thank uh, uh, Muhammad Intiaz Hussain, Member Engineering and Development, Mongla Party. Welcome, sir. Uh, I would also like to welcome uh, Sri A Selva Kumar. Director, Northeastern Region, Inland Waterways Authority of India, and also his colleagues. Uh, I would also like to uh, welcome Mr. Vikyat Sethi, Senior Consultant, uh, Landport Authority of India. So I welcome you all uh, to initiate this uh, port use agreement. We are discussing the explanation, uh, uh, the port use agreements uh, in India and Bangladesh, and the use of cross-border Indian waterways. So to initiate the session, I would request. Uh, the AKM Samimui Hak Siddiqui, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Shipping, Government of Bangladesh, uh, to initiate his uh, session and also coordinate the session. Thank you, sir. Uh, respected participants, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to you to all. On behalf of the Ministry of Shipping Bangladesh, I like to congratulate the organizers of the virtual India Bangladesh stakeholder meet for arranging the event. We should play an important role on the augment of trade relations between Bangladesh and India to newer height. I understand the hardiness, effective cooperation between the stakeholders of the business community of both the countries is a continuous process which has to be followed up to a regular basis. On that note, this year, meet is even more significant than that of 2019. The Ministry of Shipping Bangladesh considers SAS program as very useful for strengthening the relations between both countries on trade and connectivity. In terms of connectivity with our neighbors, Bangladesh is endowed with a unique geographical location to serve as a well-developed hinterland of the region. Since connectivity is the foremost prerequisite for economic and infrastructure development, the Ministry of Shipping of the Government of Bangladesh has been relentlessly contributing to the process of enhanced connectivity with the neighbors, particularly with the land-linked north Eastern region of India, apart from direct connections with the other parts of India, connectivity with the other neighboring countries such as Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Maldives, Thailand is important too. Since transportation cost is a significant determinant of competitiveness to today's globalized economy, given that context, the Ministry of Shipping under the Prudence leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is implementing a number of mega projects in order to facilitate smooth, hassle free, and cost effective transportation of goods for taking the booming economy of the country to an all time high. So, we in the Ministry of Shipping of Bangladesh are looking forward to have better and effective cooperation with our neighbors to achieve the goal of a win-win situation for all nations of the region. Bangladesh India said shipping secretary level talks, meeting of the standing committee of PIWT and T and intergovernmental committee increase the relation between the two countries. I hope it will carry forward the two countries close cooperation of shipping and maritime affairs. We have signed second addendum to PIWTT, Fairway Development of Ashugans, Jokigans, and Shirazgans. Doikha is going on. Dredging operation of the river Gomati is near to complete uh, completion. Transshipment ports like Ashugans is under construction. I wish every success of virtual Bangladesh India stakeholder meet 2002. Uh, thank you all. And uh, now uh, I
Uh, now I invite the participants uh, one by one uh, and discuss about the matter. Uh, I would like to uh, now uh, invite uh, uh, Sri Muhammad uh, Imtia Hussain, Member Engineering and Development, Mongla Authority, to kindly address the gathering. Thank you. Uh, today's uh, discussion is very, uh, it, uh, it will be very effective uh, for uh, the Northeast uh, portion, uh, particularly North East portion of India and uh, other countries like uh, mentioned, uh, particularly Nepal and Bhutan, Thailand also. And this will uh, help uh, our trade, our commerce, and our uh, overall economy of uh, for both the countries. I expect its uh, a proper implementation, and uh, this will help uh, both the country to come uh, with uh, a better position regarding this issue. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, so uh, we, will, uh, we will, we believe that we will be uh, the discussion about this uh, within the panel also. And from the uh, audience, if somebody wants to ask a question, please uh, raise your hand uh, online. Uh, now we'd like to invite uh, Sri A. Salvakumar, uh, Director NER, Inland Waterways Authority of India, to kindly deliver his presentation. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank ICC for giving an opportunity for IWA to participate and express our uh, requirement in this forum. Uh, then I am also thankful to this my Bangladesh counterparts who are present in this uh, meeting. Uh, this, the, what are the issues what we are, uh, we are facing that I like to express in the way of presentation so that it will be uh, easy to uh, understand. I am sharing my presentation. It is only for, for my slide only so that it will give some uh, map on all while discussing that it will give a clarity. I think this uh, presentation is uh, visible. Yes, sir, it is visible. So if you can make it full screen, sir. Yeah, fine, sir. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So this is the first uh, slide I have made in that one. For about we here it mentions about the fairway development. So in the, that's why I put map also. Here you can see that Siraj Gans Daiwa. That stretches around 175 kilometer. You can see this one. And then another Ashu Gansu Jai Jaki Gans is 295 kilometers. I am talking about these two stretches. Here, this first stretch that Siraj Gansu Daiwa that comes under IDP route 1 and 2. It is as, as well as seven and eight also. Well, uh, when we talk about the equal to uh, Siraj Gans. there are some depth issues are there. Now, recently we have brought some vessels from uh, Patna to Pandu, and some vessels are coming from this Haldia to Pandu also. There we are facing some depth issues are there. A vessel, the vessel was grounding, and they have to waste one or two days time also while crossing these stretches. That issue is there. Then another one problem what we have faced is um, the flotilla combination, that is a tug and the dump barge combination. That also we are sending uh, vessels from Haldia to here. There recently what we came to know, see I used to have a discussion with this uh, Bangladesh counterpart also. Even I have informed it well in advance also about the flotilla and dimension and the, what type of quality of cargo they are bringing, everything I have mean, informed. But they also ensure that the depth is more than 2.1, 2.5, 2.2 meter, and it is also having 30 meter width. That is one of our vessel, that Lal Bhagavad Sasri, it could be able to cross this area to come without any problem. But one more issue what we found recently that flotilla 
was having 90 meter length and width is also 25 meter because two floor, two dump barges are tied together and it was brought by dump. They were unable to negotiate in the bend because there are depth is there, width is there, but there are bends are there. In when, you know, when, even though we are having a 2 meter depth and 30 meter width, there, that bend is negotiating this 90 meter length of the vessel, some problem has come and they couldn't pass that uh, channel. And they have brought through Daikwa and now it has come to Indian, Indian Swiss. This also, I mean, like to request BAW while doing dredging, this bend curve also should be made in such a way that this type of length the vessels can smoothly negotiate and they can pass. That area. That is one issue, sir. Then another one thing, what we are having, we are seeing that so many uh, vessels are coming to India for loading uh, stone chips, uh, coal, and all. There we are seeing that draft mark is not uh, mentioned in that uh, vessels. Those things also no, we can ensure that one because I have seen many vessels are adding the draft, but uh, few vessels we can say they, they are not adding those marks. For based on that one, that exact quality of which they are loading and then safety of the vessel also, loading up to the mark also, we can ensure it. These are all the things you know, we, are, we are getting information from our field office also, to the office and all, IW office. That if you make this also as a uh, mandatory thing, then draft mark, then it will be very useful. So this thing also we are uh, facing this one. Then another issue is that when the pilot also, what are we are moving the vessel in a time bound manner from Patna to this Pandu or from Althea to Pandu. Every time, every day we are monitoring the vessel, uh, where it is anchored, what speed it is going, and where, where they are placed. Everything, location, everything we are monitoring from here, and accordingly we are planning also. Sometimes what happens? They tell that sir, the pilot has not come. If you have to wait up to 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, then only pilot comes. Because normally they start by early morning by 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And they have to wait for 4 5 years. That 4 5 hours is a critical time. 4 or 5 hours is then almost one fourth of day goes based. Those things also na, I feel to project in this forum. That that is to be taken care of because you know that when vessels are not that much frequently moving, you know, it is coming. Uh, once in a month, like that only. At least during those times, the pilot have to ensure that one because of them boarding the vessel, the vessel should not be idle. The moment is to be, is to be made a smooth, but a continuous moment. For want of our uh, pilot, uh, they should not waste time also. Those things also I thought to bring it here. Then one more thing I can I want to project is this area, this Rajkan Daikwad, Ashugan to Jaki Kanchi. That area already there, there is an MOU between government of, government of India and Bangladesh uh, to ensuring 2.5 meter depth and 30 meter wide channel. That also can be ensured from BAW. This is first slide. Then I'm going to second slide. This is about this fairway development that continuation. See, what I feel is that every fortnight a thousand survey from the BAW here, they are, they are conducting. But with that soft data which they are sharing with us, having that uh, 20 meter interval, that sorted file, so that we can upload in our Pani portal also. We are having one digital portal, Pani. Then that Pani portal, we can put those data also. Because whatever survey we, we are doing in our national waterway, we are uploading those data. If you get that uh, soft copy of the data, then actually we are getting in the table. Uh, not in that uh, soft copy that uh, that's sorted by X, Y, Z. We are getting in that uh, Excel only. But if we get in the sorted file, then we can upload it in our money portal so that IWT operators, they can see this data and they can use it also. That will be, you know, it will give the real time uh, data also for the uh, uh, IWT users. Then, then this is the uh, requirement for the party portal. Because this party portal is being uh, used by IWDA, IWA for facilitating transportation of cargoes by the IWT operators. And it will give you a, a good decision making also. If any IWT operator wants to move their cargo through this waterway, they can plan also by seeing the depth with all this. Thing. That is the one thing I'd like to bring it here. Then next is that one. Uh, this is also one big issue we are facing. We are crossing this our Bangladesh waterway or IWA 
let's say inland uh, Indian waterways without any problem. But there is a one no man's land area in there. There is Daikwar and Dubri and Asuka and Chagi and Karim and stretch out. Those things say uh, it is to be uh, taken up. It is to be surveyed and then dredging is to be uh, is to be done. But as per this in my uh, some understanding with the uh, Indian government of Bangladesh, we have already conveyed our Indians in no NOC, we, which we got from home affairs, and uh, we have already given to DHWD of the government of Bangladesh um, for conducting this survey. And we have already nominated also that person from the Indian side on behalf of India who will be present in this uh, survey activity. Those details also already we have shared. And this um, um, BRMT, uh, we request that they can take up this matter with their security agencies and this hydrographic survey and the uh, dredging activity. If they are common signal, then it will be better because here this is in our this Dubri uh, side, the Dubri and Bangladesh border side, there is also no man's land, about 1.7 kilometer length. There also we are facing their difficulties. That if you take taken up by BRMT, then it will be a great useful. So then next, uh, what I want to inform is about this Gumti River. This Gumti River that is a, that comes under protocol group 9 and 10. There we have, we have done survey in this, uh, during the April 2021, JTC, comprising of both, both the countries from India and Bangladesh side. That uh, we have done an uh, inspection and uh, survey also. I was also present in that uh, team. And we have calculated also, we have done a detailed uh, uh, inspection and we have given made a very good report also which contains all the details you have beat wise we have mentioned that uh, what is the chain uh, what is the depth is uh, shallow depth what are the what much, how much quantity is to be dressed those all details we have brought out and we have given a recommendation also what should be the uh, dredging quantity and uh, what depth we can dredge uh, what what will be the width of the channel also so that this waterway about 93.5 kilometer can be used because here one here in our area also we are getting more uh, monitoring and details from our higher level also even minister level also to take up this work that uh, make this Gumti river operational this this in that uh, 21st standing committee meeting also it was agreed by the other side that they will develop this waterway Gumti river for a 2.5 meter depth and 30 meter width. And in that day, while doing dredging also, we have to remove so much hindrance. Old dilated condition, bridges are there, piers are there, submerged piers are all there. Those will cause hindrance to our navigation, safety aspect also we have to take into consideration. And those obstacles need to be removed while doing dredging activities. These are all very important things to be removed also. This is also one of the things I like to bring it here. Then, uh, first, this is this is the thing my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for this insightful presentation, sir. So, uh, our uh, session coordinator, uh, Siddiqui, sir, do you have anything to say regarding this presentation, sir? Uh, thank you, the presenter. Uh, we have noted the problem of flotilla and BIWTA will take necessary arrangement for the smooth navigation in Chiragons Doikha and Ashugans Jokigons IWT route. The second point is uh, we received the Indian no objection of dredging in no man's land and BIWTA will um, uh, will take necessary action soon. And we note all the problems um, uh, for the Indian ships and we hope uh, uh, BIWTA and Ministry of Shipping Bangladesh uh, will uh, take necessary actions immediately. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And now we would like to uh, invite uh, Mr. Vikyat Sethi Senior consultant, <coughs> senior consultant, Land Force Authority of India, to kindly deliver his presentation. Good afternoon, all. 
thanks for inviting us to this uh, meeting so just to just to give a brief introduction so lpi is the nodal agency which is responsible for construction operation and management of the integrated check posts along the land borders and it houses all the regulatory agencies of immigration customs security and provides all the facilities in a single complex and lpi has operationalized nine icps and there are 14 more which are in the process of development out of these nine four icps are along the india bangladesh border which are agartala sutrakandi shrimantapur and petrapol and then uh, we are also focusing on improving the land border infrastructure in context of improving the connectivity with the north eastern regions it is also in line with the vision of pm gat pms gati shakti where lpi is undertaking planning and execution of infrastructure projects with different agencies such as inland waterways ministry of railways road transportation and highways this will help reduce the logistics cost and improve the logistics efficiency along the borders so for this also icp srimantapur in uh, tripura is a example of collaboration where we have collaborated with inland waterways for realizing the benefits of multimodal connectivity so as you know icp srimantapur is located on the banks of gomti river and there iwai has uh, set up a temporary floating jetty which has allowed movement of ferried ferries and boats uh, with the capacity of 50 tons to pass through this route then uh, we are also uh, in the process of upgradation the land custom stations into the icps where we have conducted a gap analysis on infrastructure of land custom stations a detailed study was undertaken for the infrastructure evaluation and also on the parameters of export import immigration international treaties and agreements infrastructure which is available there what is the industry what is the tourism how is the market in those areas and uh, discussions and uh, correspondences were held with various stakeholders to identify the challenges so based on this study 66 land custom stations were shortlisted for upgradation into the integrated check post in a phase wise manner over the next 10 years out of these 66 24 have been uh, which have been shortlisted are along the india bangladesh border next i would also like to like to uh, bring in that uh, the route which is connecting agartala with chatogram port is very cost efficient as compared to the siliguri corridor like for instance the distance by road from kolkata port to agartala via the siliguri corridor is approximately 1600 km and requires transportation time of 8 to 10 days and a cost of almost 7000 per ton and the trans shipment route via chatogram border chatogram port is shorter with a sea distance of uh, 650 km from kolkata to chatogram and then the in inland distance of around 250 km from the port to agartala so the icp at agartala it has the requisite infrastructure to utilize this and strengthen the trade connectivity between india and bangladesh next we also have a proposal for construction of a rail based icp at nishchandpur which is along the agartala akura rail link in tripura Uh, this proposed uh, icp holds uh, potential in strengthening the not just the intra regional trade in south asia but also the cargo movement between the north eastern regions and the rest of india via the rail link next lpi is also constructing an icp at sabroom sabroom has a location advantage of having the shortest and direct connectivity to chatogram port from the northeastern regions and uh, it is in the process of uh, developing this along the india bangladesh border the total identified area is around 49 acres while the planned built up area is around 4 and 1/2 acres this icp is also uh, has a vital link through both road and railways 
uh, road bridge has been constructed on the feni river uh, that separates india's land landlocked states and uh, bangladesh the 150 meter bridge will connect the town of sabroom in tripura and ramagarh in bangladesh and it will shorten the cargo travel time and distance between sabroom and chittagong and consequent to the operationalization of the bridge on river feni the nh44 shall be directly connected to chatogram port of bangladesh which is just 75 km from sabroom so the cargo can directly move till chatogram port as it is currently opposed to moving to haldia in west bengal which is nearly 1700 km away so this will ease the movement of trade and cargo and also icp sabroom will have a direct connectivity with the sabroom railway station which is also at a short distance of 2 km so thank you that was all from the lpai point of view thank you mr vikas shethi uh, uh the chairman uh, samim mohammed haq siddiqui sir if you have anything to comment on this uh yes uh, thank you uh, i have some comments about these matters uh i think that the proposal uh, uh, is very it is a very important proposal and it cannot be solved in this meeting uh this proposal may discuss in next sslt thank you fine sir uh we i would like to tell you that we are also live streaming on youtube so there are many participants from uh, you, uh, youtube also uh, mr mj sek uh, would you like to uh, put something up to the panelist mr mj sek Mr. M J Sik uh, from Assam Export Cell, uh, do you have anything to ask? We will not request uh, after this discussion. uh to the chairman uh, akm samimi haq siddiqui sir if you would kindly provide a conclusive remark uh, to this session if you could also say about the way yes. forward uh, uh thank you uh it's my opinion that uh, it's a very important session and with it neighboring countries meet virtually if we uh, meet physically it will be uh, much better uh, but uh, i think that it is it is a very good discussion and uh, there are many many problems uh, in the iwt road and both india and bangladesh uh, we are benefited in this road uh, this iw the route we know that it is the cheapest uh, route if we carry uh, goods by train or uh, or truck uh, uh, the cost is high so both the countries uh, work together for a long time we know that piwtt uh, is a very old um uh, all communication between the two countries and uh, we hope uh, by this sessions both we are benefited uh, we know uh, each other and uh, i think that there are many problems uh, that cannot be solved in these sessions uh, and the the important issues can be discussed in the uh, next a uh, standing committee piwtt and scmp that uh, thank you for uh, invite me uh, thank you all 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I just like to uh, offer thanks uh, to our panelists. I'd like to thank uh, Sri A K M Samui Hak Siddiqui, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Shipping, Government of Bangladesh, for your coordination of this uh, session. I would like to thank uh, Sri Muhammad Intia Hussain, Member, Engineering and Development, Mongla Post Port Authority, for your presence. Uh, I would like to thank. Yes, sir. I would like to thank Sri L A Selva Kumar, Director, N E R, Indian Waterways Authority of India, for his detailed presentation regarding the India Bangladesh uh, waterways. And uh, finally, I would like to thank Mr. Vikyat Sethi for the information, for the enlightening information you have provided to the panel and the house. So uh, thank you so much. We are having a second, third, we'll have a third session at 3.30, which will be the special session on role of transporters and freight forwarders. So I request uh, the panelists and the, dignitary and the delegates to kindly join. The same uh, ID and uh, link which is provided to you can you can join it from there with that link only so we now come to the end of this session whatever has been discussed in this session will be created as a white paper and it's shared with the relevant departments of the relevant countries so thank you all so much for your presence thank you thank very you. much thank you thank you thank you all